Tarek Lewap with French entrepreneur Tarek Krim. And Tarek is known to the community through NetVibes, where you're founder and CEO, but also founder and CEO of Jolly Cloud. And you are rocking right now the market. Uh, I heard that in November you launched the first netbook. Can you tell me what it is? So, uh, Jolly Cloud started as a simple idea. We all have uh, lots of computers at home that we don't use anymore. They're either the system is too old or um, they're basically, uh, we have a new device and a lot of people bought this new iPad and tablets and phones. And uh, our idea was to figure out what we could do to recycle these computers or we could the legacy computers into uh, computers brand new and ready for the cloud. Yeah, so the original idea was to build an organic laptop. Yeah, so the, the original idea was to create a very cheap computer because I think with the internet, the cost of a computer is not relevant any longer. I mean, if you take the new uh, computer or a computer three years ago, uh, going to the web is pretty much the same speed. So um, with the web, uh, the speed and the model of a computer doesn't, is not relevant. What is relevant is the experience. And we thought that we could provide an extremely nice, simplified, easy to use experience to the, a lot of people that have old computers at home. Mm -hmm. And we think that a lot of people who have these computers at home could actually recycle them, donate them, use them for different uh, other usage. And um, there's pretty much every year hundreds of millions of laptops are just been unused, either they're just not, you know, staying in a cupboard or, or just being thrown away. So we thought it was be, would be a good idea to recycle them. So to understand it better, it's uh, Jolly Cloud is an operating system that I can download, and even an old computer, like a four-year-old one, would uh, um, be fast and with all the features that I need. Like what, for example, like if I download it, what are the main features that you offer? Exactly. The, the idea is uh, you take five years old is exactly perfect. I <laughs> actually revived a five years old computer. So this is the organic X aspect of it. Yes, exactly. You don't have to buy a new computer. So the first benefit of Jolly Cloud is you don't have to buy a new computer. The second benefit is you have all these cool applications, Skype, Spotify, VLC for the video, Chrome for the browsing, so you have the best browsing experience. Mm -hmm. And that's free, so you don't have to buy software anymore. Okay, but as a layperson, for example, to download uh, Skype, it's free anyway. Or do you also have uh, systems that usually cost money that uh, I get as a package with Jolly Cloud? No, so the idea is that uh, there's a lot of things that are easy to use and free, but most of the people don't know them. They usually stuck with what is in the computer when they buy it. You, just, you buy a computer and you invest stuff and you use it. And sometimes they tell you to pay an antivirus or to pay this or to pay that and you pay because you don't really know. Now we really want to make sure that everyone that is using Jolly Cloud is going to benefit from the cloud mm -hmm. and use free software, free services online with a very simple experience. So you basically turn any person using Jolly Cloud is a power user. And how much do I have to pay to Jolly Cloud? It's free. Oh wow, it's free. But so what is the business model behind uh, it for you? Well, we're going to bring millions and millions of people, that's the goal, to the cloud. And the cloud economy is going to change. B before you were buying uh, programs and where you were using them and then they were obsolete and you had to buy them again. Now I think what's happening is a lot of programs are going to be free. And if you're an advanced user, you have a subscription. And Jolly Cloud is going to be exactly the same way. It's free for any use, regular use. But if you're an advanced user of Jolly Cloud and you want extended features, you will pay for it. I read on TechCrunch that you just launched the netbook. Oh, no, not the netbook, the Jolly book. Yes. And what is the difference with that? And uh, now you're going into hardware. Um, please tell me about it. So, now the interesting when can I get it in the rest of Europe? It's uh, uh, just launched in the UK. It's only testing in the UK. So a uh, manufacturer said, I want to do a computer for kids with Jolly Cloud. It's so awesome. This is so simple. The kids love it. How can I do that? And we said, okay, let's do that. But there's two conditions. First, we want to do a very cool design. And the second thing is we want to have a very affordable price. So we decided to do a top-notch computer for £279. That is actually one of the bottom price in the UK for this kind of, of product. And uh, now we're discussing with other manufacturers around the world to do the same thing. So the, it's not our primary goal to do computers, but more and more people are saying, you know what? Uh, why should we do an expensive computer with Windows, with like, all this expensive software when people just want to go to the web? Mm -hmm. In other words, why should you pay software when you only want to do, it, what, you, what you only want to do is to go to the web? Mm -hmm. And that's the vision of Jolly Cloud, is that the, the access to the web should be free, so the OS is free. Uh, with 99 Faces TV, we also want to connect, like, what are you looking at the moment for? Are you looking for manufacturers, developers, uh, are you hiring people? So we always look for talents, but I think what we need is now people that understand our vision, mentor, people are going to do our mentoring program, 
uh, where we're gonna spread the, the world that there's a solution now, there's a solution today to make any computer um, become a super fast computer for free. <laughs> Imagine that, uh, I mean, the, the benefit for consumers around the world. And uh, we've been dreaming about this for a while and uh, after two years of hard work, that's pretty much what we've been able to do. It's turning any legacy computer into new. And uh, we need people to spread the word, we need schools to use it, we need teachers to, to get kids to use it, we want people to have feedback, we really want to grow um, the, the installation base today. How much is the Charlie book, like the hardware? How much is it in price? It's going to be £279 in the UK. You can buy it, buy it on Amazon. It's all over Europe, but it has a UK keyboard. What is it in Euro? Uh, 300, 310. Okay, and one last question. When I had uh, your uh, Jolly Book in my hands, it reminded me a little bit to something that I have seen some years ago with Nicholas Necroponte. He also did some kind of very easy accessible book. What is the different model behind that? I think the OLPC was an abstraction. It's like we want to invent a new system so kids can like play. We have a different vision. We believe that the internet connect people to the real world. And with Jolie Cloud, I wanted to connect people to the real world. I want kids to be connected. A computer is an opportunity, it's not a tool. It's an opportunity to do things, to meet people, to organize, to be connected to the world. And Jolie Cloud is just a gateway to connect kids and any, anyone actually uh, to these opportunities. My last question, your vision for the future? My vision is computers is going to be free and my vision is that we shouldn't buy new computers anymore and we shouldn't buy new stuff every time, especially in technology. Think about it today, um, the computer is like if you had to change fridge every three years because the size of the milk bottle changed. So this is completely ridiculous. And uh, I think that this madness of you know new tools, new gadgets is shouldn't like be a mainstream thing. It should be like some geeks love it. Even me who used to be a geek and love this thing, I just I don't feel that it's it's fun anymore. I mean they all look the same, it's so so generic. So the recycling I think needs to be a big, big, big stage uh, for computers and hopefully it will launch that uh, revolution and uh, help actually this revolution to to, to be bigger.